Welcome to the Bop Stop. Yeah, you can applaud. The Bop Stop deserves applause. Uh, my name is Brian Kennard, and I'm the director here at the Bop Stop. It's my pleasure to welcome you all out tonight on this Sunday evening. Uh, thanks to uh, this great trio for getting us started off for the night. Um, I like to just get a, uh, a sense of how many newcomers we have here. How many of you are here for the very first time tonight? Yeah, show of hands, look at that. Look at these first timers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, yes, the Bop Stop is a great place and we love newbies here because uh, a lot of them come back. Um, so just a little background on what the Bop Stop is and what we do here. Uh, the original Bop Stop was established in uh, uh, the early 90s and it was located on East 40th and St. Clair. Um, and then it moved in the mid-90s 
to West 6th. And then here, it moved to uh, this location. This building was built especially for the pop stop. Uh, and it is now its uh, final uh, terminal and hopefully not fatal location. Um, so uh, yeah, and uh, the original owners, it was privately owned for all that time uh, in the uh, uh, 2010s, early 2010s, the original owners decided to put it up for sale. They closed the Bob Stop down for a little while. And then they had a change of heart and they decided instead of selling the Bob Stop, they were going to donate it to the music settlement. So this entire building was donated to the music settlement. Um, and for those of you who aren't familiar, the music settlement is a 110 year old community music program right here in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, it has everything from early childhood care to music therapy to music lessons and ensembles. Um, so there's a little bit of something for everyone at uh, the Music Settlement, so check them out at themusicsettlement.org. Uh, and you can get to us through that website or go to thebopstop.org to get to uh, everything that we do here and the calendar. Um, so we are the fourth branch of what the Music Settlement has to offer, uh, being a live performance venue and part of a nonprofit and having a bar. Uh, is really a special thing because we close the or we open up the bar at night for shows and we uh, we sell uh, booze and liquor and all that good stuff everything that uh, everyone that uh, it's something uh, that everyone loves I guess most of us love um, and of course all the proceeds from that alcohol uh, goes to support the operating budget of the music settlement and goes to help us continue to uh, delivering great programming here. Um, so, you know, with uh, every drink you have tonight, you are supporting music education right here in Cleveland, Ohio. So that's something to drink to, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you for your support. So uh, drink up. Uh, and while you're over at the bar, make sure you tip Teddy, because uh, Teddy's a great bartender, and he works really hard. Uh, and he, uh, he mixes some great drinks, especially that uh, rum pum punch that we've got special this month. Anyone, any, anyone drink to the rum pum punch? Someone, I think I heard someone order it. Um, all right. Uh, okay, so since March, uh, our kitchen has been run by Metro 45, uh, which is uh, a branch of Lutheran Metropolitan Ministries, a number or another nonprofit right here in town. Um, and they do some really great ministry work. Uh, they have a central kitchen that they operate downtown, um, and they. Uh, provide free meals to the homeless, the needy, those, uh, uh, the poor. Uh, so with every bite of taco or uh, fry or cheese board that you have tonight, uh, you are helping feed someone in the community. So thank you for your support on behalf of Lutheran Met uh, Metropolitan Ministries. Um, all right, some of you may be joining us via live stream tonight, so thank you for tuning in. Um, if you are enjoying what you hear, the live stream is free, but you are more than welcome to donate. Uh, all proceeds that you donate uh, go to directly benefit the band. Um, and uh, yeah, um, you can do that. We've changed our donation uh, setup a little bit through uh, for our live stream. So you can do that now through the ticketing page for this event on our website. Uh, there is an option that says donation live stream attendee. And uh, you can do that and just Follow the directions until you get to the amount that you want to donate. And if anyone in-house is feeling so generous, we have a tip jar or donation jar at the, uh, at the front to help us continue bringing you great programming. Um, all right. So I think that uh, that about wraps up my spiel. And I, uh, I tend to ramble. I tend to talk too much, so my wife says. Um, so it gives me great pleasure to welcome to the stage the person that you came out to hear tonight. Debbie Gifford. So did you know something? Listen. A one, a two, a one, a two, a three, a four.
party cause it's more fun Santa Claus is going to town Well, he sees you when you're sleeping He knows when you're awake He knows if you've been that or good So you better be good for goodness sake You better watch out You better not cry You better not pout on telling your why Santa Claus is coming ask you all over for Christmas Eve because you're all here tonight instead. <laughs> so um, Brian mentioned about the music settlement. That's where I started at the music settlement. It's a great place to take lessons. So I'm a music settlement alumni, which I don't know if Brian knew that information or not. Yeah, way back when I was 15. <laughs> Thank you. Great, great teachers there. Um, so th this evening we're going to do some holiday music. We're going to do some jazz standards. We're going to do an original piece. So sit back, relax. Hope you have a nice drink in front of you or something to snack on while you're listening. And uh, we're going to take it away to You Taught My Heart to Sing, a McCoy Tyner tune.
Everybody's keeping track. No, this is not a dress I wore last year. And yes, it is my fifth red dress in the red dress collection. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Somebody knows my collection. So anyway, so I had to do this just because Jeff, I mean, really, how could I yes. compete with this? <laughs> Look at the beard. <laughs> Look at the shoes. Fake beard with a thing. It's, you have kids watching this show. My grandchildren are watching this show. I don't talk about my kids. And he has green shoelaces, too. All right, so we're going to have a little contest. Get, get out here. You, get yourself out of here. We're going to have a little applause for who has the best shoes. Okay, hand over my head for my shoes. Hand over Jeff's head for his shoes. <laughs> you won! I'm trying to talk him out of it. <laughs> You're fired, buddy. Oh, Here, I'm going to hit you with this thing in your head. Yes. I. What? Well, wait a minute. What do you have on? Oh. Well, I left you in the car. We're going to compete with earrings now, too. I'm telling you, everybody's always trying to upstage me. Jeez. Well, I hate to sing the next song because it might come true tonight. It did at my house, though, today. So I'm going to do it anyway. So why don't we just let it snow? Take it away, Ed. <laughs>
So since there's some uh, virgins here to the Bob Stop, well, y you have been here before. So you're Bob Stop virgins. You didn't ever think you were going to be a virgin again in your life, did you? <laughs> yeah, me neither. Okay, anyway, uh, I'm going to tell you this little story that I always tell about the next tune that we're going to do. One of my best friends lives in Austria, and anybody that goes to visit her always has to go on the Sound of Music tour. Everybody. She take, she's been on it I don't know how many times. So she takes you on the Sound of Music tour, and it is. It's like from the movie. They take you to the house, and you go down uh, that beautiful um, uh, garden pathway where, if you know the story of the Sound of Music, Maria sits in the tree with her guitar and plays, and then, then we go to the gazebo. They take you to the gazebo where they, you know, I am 16, going on 17, all that stuff. Okay, so we get there, and all the way there in the bus, uh, they're playing all the hits from the Sound of the Music, so the whole bus is singing along, and the, the bus, um, I guess he would be called the tour guide, has his Lederhosen on, and cute, you know, the, you know, the leather shorts that they never wash. <sighs> we don't have to go there, but <laughs> really? Those things are very expensive, too. And like, if you put on a few extra pounds, your leader wasn't a little snug. Yeah, but you have to deal with it. Yeah, well, anyway, so we get to the first stop, and he gets up, and, you know, all the tour guides have their old microphones, and he says, I just want to tell everybody before you get off the bus that it's 20 minutes here at this stop because we have to stay on schedule. So if, you know, you're enjoying yourself, mind the time. Because you need to be back here, you know, because we have to go to the next stop. Okay, great. He goes, because if you're not, there will be consequences. <laughs> and so I was sitting in the front seat because I'm not real good on a bus. And I said, well, what would that be? And he goes, well, you'll have to sing in the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> what? What did he say? Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, all right. I mean, like, how, how late do you have to be? Oh, no, the doors will close in 20 minutes. Okay. And what if you're really late? What do you have to do? Well, you might have to sing two songs in the microphone. <laughs> two songs in the microphone. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. So my girlfriend and I, you know, she looks at me. Kiss me. She, she looks... I shouldn't say this because she's probably watching. She hates when I say this, but okay, Alexandria, forgive me. She looks like a Hummel. She's so cute. She looks like a Hummel. She hates when I say that, but she does. So anyway, we get out of the bus. We're walking along, doing our sightseeing, and she just looks at her watch. You know, we have to get back to the bus. I said, I know. We'll get back. Don't worry. No, we have to get back because they'll close the door. Okay, no problem. So we're walking. She says, I'm, go I'm, I'm walking ahead of you. I said, good, because I want to use the restroom. <laughs> so she's walking ahead of me because she walks like that. She's quick. And she gets to the bus door, and I'm just like, 
you know, walking a little. So come on, Debbie, come on. I'm like, I'm coming, I'm coming. You go, quick, you go, go in the bus, sit down, sit down. She goes in. Guy looks out the window, doesn't see me because I'm like coming from behind the bus, shuts the door. Walk over to the door. No, no, no. I'm like, what? He goes, you are late. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> you know what the consequence is? I says, I know. So I walk in the door. He hands me the microphone. He says, this is the punishment. I said, not to me, buddy. <laughs> and this is what I sang. Ready, guys? Here we go. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Bright copper kettles, warm woven mittens. Bright paper packages all tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Cream colored ponies, crisp apple strudel. Doorbells and sleigh bells and schnitzel with noodles. Wild geese that fly with the moon on their wings. These are a few of my favorite things. Girls in white dresses with blue satin slashes. Snowflakes that land on your nose and eyelashes. Silver white winters held in a spring. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad. I simply remember my favorite things. And then Are a 
a few of my favorite things. Yeah, and then they opened the door again and shoved me out. No, that was fun, though. Oh, yeah, they were a little surprised. And I did it a cappella, too. No accompaniment, just people tapping on the back of their seats. So that was fun. That's my Austria story. So if you come along with me to Austria, be sure you will be going on the Sound of Music tour because everybody does. Yeah, it's fun. So a lot of these songs, I'm sure, bring back memories to you, and they surely do to me. And the next one brings back a lot of memories. And I told my brother, I'm not going to mention him in the show because I always mention him in the show, and he just has to be sitting right there. <laughs> there. So no. So I'm not going to say anything about Eugene. I'm not going to tell you that my brother's also a singer, but his forte is barbershop singing. So yes, mm -hmm. yeah. is there anybody else here from your group, Gene? Oh, you just happen Really? <laughs> oh, bummer. <laughs> Next time. Next time, yeah. Well, we should have planned that better, huh? But anyway, so we had a wonderful childhood. So much, so much fun. But one night, when we were supposed to be upstairs sleeping, I crept down the stairs, and this is exactly what I saw. You're not going to believe it. Green, oh what a laugh it would have been 
if my daddy had only seen mommy kissing Santa Claus last night. Oh, what a laugh it would have been if my daddy had only seen mommy kissing Santa Claus last night. She laid a big smooch on him, I saw it. He saw it too. Don't let him fool you. Yeah. What'd you think of that, Jeff? I made it rhyme and everything. Yeah. Red and green, bean. Oh well. Okay, I tried. I just wanted to bring you in the act, just make you feel part of a thing. Part of the crew. Part of the crew, yeah. All right, so we had a I mean, are these guys great players or what? Aren't they? <sighs> they make my job so easy. Don't they? <laughs> what are you laughing about, Ed? <laughs> How easy do you, make, do you make the job? Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're doing a rehearsal together, and we get to the next song, which I've sung like a billion times. And uh, the title is almost like being in love. I'm like, hey, guys, can, can we s do something different this song with this song? Huh, let's think about that. Hmm. Okay, then let's make it Ed's Salsa. So this is almost like being in love, a la Ed's Salsa. All right, Ed, dazzle them. <laughs>
What a rare mood I'm in. Why it's almost like being in love. so much fun. I, I mean, I saw people out there, cha-cha, the little samba, they wanted to get up and dance. Uh, you can get it. You can dance if you'd like. Yeah. Here, right here, there, anywhere. I mean, it's kind of hard on the carpeting, but you can. So we're going to, um, we're not going to take a break, but I'm going to look into the camera somewhere and say, uh, Warren, Elizabeth, Caroline, and James. The elf is watching you. Just saying. He was sitting on the piano before. Just saying. Those are my grandchildren, so I was just giving them a little message. They need the elf. Well, he's got to be Italian, right? Just watching. Yeah? Okay. So we're going to do slow it down a little bit and do a ballad. One of my favorites. The first time I heard this performed was... Um, by Rosemary Clooney here with the Cleveland Orchestra, her last concert here in Cleveland, and it was wonderful. She told stories about her family, she sang a song, then she told more stories about her childhood. So this one is called um, A Christmas Love Song, and it's just one of my favorites, and hopefully it'll be one of yours. <laughs> Christmas is you. You're the gift that made my dreams all come true. All I need for Christmas is here. Find sweet surprise wrapped up in your eyes waiting there for me underneath the tree we'll spend the day exchanging kisses smile and say what a Christmas this is long before the snowflakes appear without bells or mistletoe or the tinsel silver glow you just look at me and oh Christmas is here
exchanging kisses smile and say what a Christmas this is long before the snowflakes appear without bells or mistletoe or the tinsel silver glow you just look at me and oh Christmas is now that I mellowed you all out. <laughs> we're going to bring it back up to a little Latin. Mm -hmm. If I ever went to perform on stage and I didn't do this song, I think I'd be disowned by one of my best friends. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> so Jody, this one's for you. start to play dance with me and make me sway like a lazy ocean hugs the shore hold me close sway me more like a flower bending in the breeze bend with me yeah, sway with me when you dance you have a way with me stay with me sway with me other dancers may be on the floor dear but my eyes will see only you technique when we sway I grow weak cause I can hear the sound of violins long before it begins I make me drill as only you know how sway me smooth sway
When marimba rhythms start to play, dance with me and make me sway. Like a lazy ocean hugs the shore, hold me close, swing me more. Like the flower burning in the breeze, then with me, I sway with ease. When you dance, you have a way with me, stay with me, sway with me. Other dancers may be on the floor, dear, but my eyes will see only you. Only you have that magic technique when we sway. I grow weak as I can hear the sound of violin long before it begins. Make me thrill as only you know how. Sway me smooth, sway me now. Sway me smooth, sway me now. Isn't that fun? <laughs> All right, now if anybody really feels like dancing, even if they want to stand up next to their chair and dance, hint, hint, you can. Don't be shy. Because we're going to song that you're going to want to do this to. Come on, Lori. number. The jing we like to call them the Jingle Bell Rock Dancers. Mm -hmm. Nice job. You know, they were getting like in the dim light over there, but they were swinging. Wait a minute. Just because you look so good tonight, don't be taking my job. <laughs> Heard of once 
singing a lullaby Somewhere over the rainbow Skies are Someday I wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. Where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. That's where you'll find. I just had to clip my heels together at the end of that song. Well, all right. Okay, we're going to take it down a little bit here. Jeez, I forgot my bow at home, so I'm going to just have to use this cord. <laughs> Wait a minute. It might work. Oh, yeah. Okay. And as uh, Jeff says it, we're going to make this one greasy. greasy. Oh, <laughs> not sure what that means, but you're going to find out. 
All right, gentlemen, here we go. Here's my wish list. Listen up, fellas. Santa baby, just slip a sable under the tree for little old me. I've been an awful good girl, Santa honey, and hurry down the chimney tonight. My mama sent a cutie. A 54 convertible to, it's worth a lot of money, light blue. I wait up for your dear Santa, honey. Hurry down the chimney tonight. Listen up, guys. Well, think of all the fun I of all the fellas that I've never kissed. Next year, I can be just as good if you check off my Christmas list. But do de do Santa honey, I want a yacht, and really that's not a heck of a lot. I've been an angel, oh yeah, Santa cutie, so hurry down the chimney tonight. Okay, Ed, let them have it. I 
I want to ring a big one. And I don't mean on the phone, Santa, honey. So hurry down the chimney. Hurry down the chimney. Hurry down the chimney. Tonight. Woo! I think the piano needs a cigarette after that. What do you think? Woo! Ed Ridley. Woo! Man. You know, at rehearsal, he said, you know, Jeb, I, I don't really know this song that well. No, really? Hmm. Guess you've been doing a lot of practicing. <laughs> Okay, well, the next tune is called So Many Songs About Love, and it's one of my compositions that I wrote because that's all I sing, obviously, is songs about love. So one day I thought, hmm, there are so many songs about love. Why don't you write a song? And here it is. Ready, gentlemen?
songs about love. <laughs> Thank you. So it's always so much fun to hear my song being performed because every time it's performed, it's different. So like next time the three of us play it, who knows what it's gonna sound like, but it's always a surprise and it's always wonderful. So thank you, gentlemen, that was perfect. All right, well, we're gonna slow it down to a, a little Christmas ballad. And uh, the first time I heard this song, I was with my friends, Angie and Carmi, and I heard this beautiful Christmas song. And um, so I put it in my Christmas performance, especially for you ladies, my sisters of the heart. And um, I hope you enjoy it. Sleeping child. 
Thank you. So that master's degree in opera performance paid off this evening. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. All right, so enough of that. Let's swing it up, guys. Are you ready? One, a two, I want one, two. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's get, wait, wait. Before we do that, look at Eric. Eric, like the greatest. Did you, he was ready. I wasn't, he was. All right, all right. Let's tell the story first, just Ed and I. All right, guys. Sure, whatever you like to play. <laughs> You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen. Oh, no, not really. <laughs> Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer? Rudy the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose and, and if you ever saw it, whoa, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. I then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, oh, but you got my sleigh tonight. Then all the reindeer loved him as he shouted out with glee. Rudy the red-nosed reindeer, you go down to history. small conference with Eric.
No, I just wanted you to see the back of my dress. <laughs> you think I'm kidding, right? Oh, that's right. That's being televised. Oh, my grandchildren are sleeping by now. No, that's posterior. But um, bum. All right. Well, we've had a wonderful, wonderful evening with you. So glad you could join me in my living room by the fireplace. And uh, we, from all of us here in the band, we wish you a joyous and happy holiday season with lots and lots of love and happiness and good health for the new year. So we're going to end it with this song. One of Mel Torme's favorites. <laughs> Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yuletide carols being sung by a choir. And folks dressed up like Eskimos. Turkey and some mistletoe will help to make the season bright. Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow will find it a hard to sleep tonight. They know that Santa way. He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. And every mother's child is gonna spy to see if reindeer really know how to fly. And so I'm offering this simple phrase Two kids from one to 93. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas, everyone. Ed Ridley on piano, Jeff Slater on bass, and Eric Everett on drums. Thank you. Who's yelling more? Now you're pushing it. Now you're pushing it. No, no, no. No, because not everybody here is Italian, are you? Everybody here? Oh, stop. Ready, guys? A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. My theme song is, as I'm singing, there's a bell up in my brain and it's ringing, making a crazy ding dong. If this band don't desert me well, there's nothing in the world that can hurt me. Long as I'm singing my song, the gay trumpets will got Put this bass with them. Can you play a little pizzicato? Eric, give me lots of rhythm as long as I'm singing. Then the world's okay, everyone's swinging. Long as I'm singing my
Mr. Christmas, Jeff Slater. and safe travels home. Oh, by the way, I have a Christmas gift for you since this that I gave you tonight was my gift. I have a gift for you. So as you're exiting, please stop by this little basket and you may choose a CD of your choice as my gift to you for Christmas. So Merry Christmas. Aww. 